So things are much messier here in the retro room at the moment, just because I just got done filming some Elgato Wave B-roll. I can finally talk about that, get that out of the way. But you guys haven't seen the retro room in a while. I haven't, ever since having the baby, I haven't had time to stream in here and things like that. And that's one of my big regrets about the setup is I have spent so much time building it, setting it up, but not really using it. And that also means that we're gonna make a major change to it this upcoming week that I need a way to talk about and show off. That's what today's video is. So first, let me show you what we've been working with for what little I've used it for over the past few months. So this is the other side of the retro room that you don't normally see. We have all the neon lights and stuff off. And this is what we are usually working with. If I can get the cord out of the way here. So that's the computer I built for it. 3960X, 1650 Super. It's been upgraded to the Blackmagic Quad uh, Decklink HDMI capture card. So four 4K60 inputs, plus two more from the dual Aver Media Live Gamer 4Ks. Really sick stuff there. We've got the 40 inch LCD TV that I've had since I was 16. We had the normal side chat monitor that you're used to seeing. A6400 has been the upgraded camera thrown in up top there. And then we still have just this one lowly Draycast LED panel. So that was the setup normally. We've got the Go XLR, keyboard, consoles, you know the drill. If you've seen my, if you haven't seen the retro setup video, then go watch that. Uh, I've swapped in the Lewitt LCT 440 Pure that I got in for review. Large diaphragm condenser microphone sounds beautiful. I haven't had a whole lot of chance to test it yet, but excited to use it. But I installed a vertical monitor mount so that we have another monitor here that goes overhead for multi-view. So I have my normal chat here, playing the game here, and then OBS multi-view up here. So I see all the different scenes because I've got a camera angle over there. I've got a Panasonic G7 over here. I've got my main camera. I've got a webcam up there for an overarching view. I've got the Logitech stream cam here for the turntable view. And I have some new turntable music that should be stream safe. So excited for that. Love me some vinyl. And then I even have a little GoPro knockoff over here. So I have as many angles as I can get. I'm always working on adding more. I still have some more inputs on there that I can use. So I have a lot to manage, plus the different capture card game scenes. And so the multi-view was supposed to manage that. So that's been the setup that I was intending on using, assuming I ever streamed. But we're gonna be made, we're basically gonna tear all of this out and replace it. Oh yeah, here is my Ursa Mini Pro rig at the moment. <laughs> Tiny little lens on there, that's a vintage, uh, Helios lens. I got it completely rigged out. I'll have another video on that coming soon. But I have landed my absolute dream CRT TV. It is a BVM broadcast video monitor from Sony. It is the D24. So 24 inches, as big as it gets for the most part for these CRTs. There were bigger ones, but you know, this thing's over 100 pounds. It accepts 240p up to 1080i inputs, but it's still completely analog. It's not an HD CRT, it is completely analog. I mean, there's digital aspects to it, but the signal processing chain is all analog, so it's completely lag free. I can hook up anything from the NES all the way up to modern day consoles if I wanted. Up to this thing, it has all the expansion cards. We're gonna be talking more about it in another video potentially or later in this video, but that means that my flimsy little Amazon cart over here isn't gonna hold a 113 pound monster plus all the other monitors I have set up. So we are actually heading to my parents to build a custom TV stand slash streaming desk. It's gonna raise it up, it's gonna support the weight and hopefully finish out this set here. I'm super excited. This video is brought to you by Nerd or Die and their new Overdrive stream package. This just came out a couple days ago. Turn the volume up to 11 and put the pedal to the metal. Overdrive is a grungy high impact stream package made for an energetic vibe. Let your audience know what's up. It's got some pretty cool graphics in it. I love it. If I wasn't currently going, I mean, I've been doing this for years, but like if my main focus wasn't on the retro VHS kind of aesthetic, I would 100% be using this right now, but I may still snag some of the webcam, webcam frames from it anyway. The rest of you can save 15% with the normal coupon code EBOSFOX. Link in the description below, EBOSFOX.GG slash nerd or die. Go check it out. Back to the video.
Well, it's finally done. This project took about a week total between tearing everything down, building the new setup, putting all of that back together, getting the CRT delivered. This thing is a beast. It's pretty dark right now with a big bright video light on. I'll have some awesome B-roll of it up close because it is absolutely gorgeous. The CRT monitor you're seeing here that we built this whole setup for is the BVM D24. It is a beastly monitor. And before I talk about it, I need to give a huge, huge, huge thanks to Steve over at RetroTech. He runs an entire YouTube channel dedicated to repairing and learning about the inner workings of CRTs. He does that a lot. He's kind of the guy in the retro community for refurbishing, recapping, restoring old CRTs, BVMs, PVMs, things like that. He was <laughs> incredible enough to help me track this down. I was actually looking for a tier below this monitor to have as my holy grail and this is a step above it and he got me set up with it made sure i had everything i needed to know huge shout out to him we'll probably be doing some more content with him so if you're interested in the crt crt stuff definitely stay tuned this is the d24 it can do it is a bvm or broadcast video monitor it's one of sony's professional line of crts that are known for their incredibly sharp video and beautiful colors this one has all the expansion cards and the nice control surface up top, and it can do 240p all the way up to 1080i, which means I can hook up modern consoles as well and run them at 720p. And I was playing around with the PS3 running at 720p on this thing, and it looks gorgeous. And it also looks pretty nice for Twitch streams, since, as I mentioned in my CRT TV uh, video essay, the CRT mask kind of hides some of the compression artifacts with live streams. So that's pretty cool as well. Here is the TV stand my dad and I ended up building for Father's Day. It is made of plywood, and yes, I'll get the comments, well, why didn't you paint that or stain it or something? We just did not have time. We basically built it, set it up in here, and got it delivered all within, you know, a short span, and it's been raining constantly. It just wasn't feasible to have it painted or stained with time to dry before we needed to put everything on it, but when we move again or whenever I need to tear it down again, we'll make sure it gets painted or stained. I'm not really sure which, uh, but we've got what was essentially three sheets of plywood. Um, big piece for the top with a lip all the way around the sides and the back for my microphone arms, my monitor arms, things like that to clamp to it. Super helpful. Then we got a slightly smaller but mostly big piece at the bottom for the bottom frame. And then we've got three vertical slices. We've got the two sides which sit on the bottom shelf but are uh, dado bladed and basically embedded in the top piece and then the middle shelf is embed embedded in both the top and the bottom and we've got a couple different shelves and we've got everything hooked up over here on the right right I actually have a 4U rack mount setup where I have an 8x1 HDMI switch and then a 6x2 component switch which allows me to connect all of my component or RGB I use component uh, connected consoles YPBPR rather and it runs in and then splits it out to two outputs. I actually ended up, there is another component selector up here to give me a couple more component inputs because I didn't quite have enough. I do have the G comp switch, uh, which is an eight by two component video switcher. That's pretty popular in the retro community. It's being delivered in uh, late August, ideally from Castlemania. So I got to wait for that. Uh, but this allows me to run my component both to the BVM itself directly and then to my XRGB Mini Frame Meister upscaler unit to then run, run to a capture card to stream and things like that, which will upscale and deinterlace de everything to 1080p for live streams. I may tinker with a separate setup where I have the video output on the BVM running to the OSSC as well, which is a line doubler, a similar style scaler, but does something totally different. Talked about it a few times on the channel. I have a video at some point talking about the differences. That way I have both options to choose from because they produce different results depending on what you're playing. And so that is what I have running. And then I have the HDMI switch because I have HDMI consoles hooked up here as well. And mainly because I was out of uh, component slots for the modern consoles. So for example, the Wii U, the PS3, and the Xbox 360 are all connected through HDMI instead of components since I'm out of outputs and just run at 720p. They run into the HDMI switch, which then runs into a ridiculous chain. It runs in first into a UHD HDMI splitter, which sends the signals off to two different directions, which I need anyway, but also strips the HDCP off the PS3 so I can capture HDMI feed. I wish I had that like 10 years ago when I was starting YouTube. But then it sends it to an audio extractor so I can get optical audio run to my surround setup. And then it sends it to a 
lag-free Porta. I have it linked in the video description. You do not want the one with the scaler because that one's not lag-free, but a lag-free Porta HDMI to component converter, which then runs back into that first switch and allows me to play everything on the BBM. And I have my dual monitor set up for monitoring, OBS stream, everything like that. I've already talked about my computer. I have a video link in the description below for my streaming setup for this. And the setup is mostly complete. I've got the Go XLR down here. I've got uh, a Stream Deck and Stream Deck Mini setup ready here to go. My headphone of choice is the SteelSeries H Wireless. It's an older set. They have some newer ones, but I have the hub hooked up on my surround receiver and then just have these ready to rock. And then for microphone choice, I've actually got the Deity S Mic 2S uh, shotgun mic run here. So that's out of frame and it's always pointed at me since I move around a lot. That way it's not having two issues with blocking my face or anything like that. Over in the corner, we have the Sony a6400. That is my favorite camera right now for like smaller cameras. And it's set up as my main a cam for streaming. I don't have the camera set up fully finalized. I'm actually waiting on a couple lights from Elgato and then to verify positions and stuff. And I have all of my cameras because I have a big multicam setup run into a Blackmagic Decklink Quad HDMI capture card for four 4K60 inputs. And then I have two Avermedia Live Gamer 4K capture cards for 4K60 inputs for the gaming. So pretty amazing setup. The CRT is amazeballs. We're going to have some more videos on the BBM and things like that in the future. I just wanted to finally finish this video, get it out here. And the time it's taken us to finish all of this, I've gotten a haircut. Things have been crazy, but I am super freaking stoked. Hopefully this means we're actually going to have some live streams from the setup too, because part of the bittersweetness of having to tear down the previous setup was that I built it up and, you know, really put my heart and soul into polishing it and then never really got to stream from it much. And with the baby and things like that, we just haven't had time. But also, I think this might end up being my video set in a lot of cases. So I want it set up so that I can just hop over here and shoot videos in the retro room, separate from all of our messy living room where all the baby stuff is. So hope you enjoyed this video. Just fun little weekend project for Father's Day with my dad and to get me a lovely BVM. Go check out Steve Retro Tech's channel as well as our sponsor linked in the video description. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tech education, streaming education, things like that. Go follow me on Twitch and the link in the video description for live streams and game streams from this room as well. And if you're watching this within a week or so of this video coming out, I have a giveaway for three Elgato Wave microphones. Go check that out linked in the video description as well. I'm Evil Vox, your stream professor. I'll see you next time.